Hi, I'm Richard and my dream is to open a shop in a small town just and live comfortably. But unfortunately I can't do that because I don't have enough money and I haven't made any friends. So my first aim is to make some friends. First goal. Ah, uh, you, Matthew Richard, yeah, the one and only. Yeah. How are you, mate? Very nice place you have here. Yeah, Thank I'm Thank you very good. much, sir. All right, I'll let you in. So, you own the local shops around here, don't you? Uh, yes, yes, I do. I own one just next door, and I think that's why you're here. Yeah, I yeah. am. So, Richard. Yeah? You would like to become manager of my store next door, because mm -hmm. I own many in this neighborhood, and unfortunately, the manager that we used to have, he has just retired and we're looking for a new one. So you're not because if you beat my assistant at a game of pool, I will give you the job. But as if you don't, I will eliminate you from your life. So who's the star player? Well, the star player is a very good player, one of the best in the world. Because he also happens to be my one and only assistant. Wow. Really nice guy, really good guy. But... <coughs> Very timidly. His name is Sir Theodore the Third. Give him a pause. Your job has been granted, considering you have won. You're now the new manager of the clothes shop next door. Um, I'll give you the keys later, and I'll see you on Monday. Okay, thank you. No worries. All right, so Richard, this is the shop. We got um, jumps over there. Don't touch the clothing. Yep, I will. Or I'll fire you already. Uh, Lovely boots over there. Lovely shoes. Uh, we got the counter over there. Okay, guys, so how's, how's your food? It's alright, yeah. Are we friends now? How's yeah. food? Yeah, I'd say we're friends. And then, me and him, we're already friends, but. Yeah. Including you, are we friends? We can be like the famous three. And we can go around town being, being a road man, kicking ass, and all that. Sort of yeah. Yeah. And, if we have, and if we ever do that, and die. We will come to you, and if, if you die in doing that, then we will come to the funeral, don't worry. But we won't die anytime soon. No. No, I'm not coming soon. No. I guess we will, but you might. You know, no. Yeah, you probably will, actually. You know, your store... I mean, look at the size of you. Your store actually has a history I'm of um, like war. Hey, shut up. If you go in the game of type and war, you probably lose it. And just so you know, your store, or that store, has a history of becoming bankrupt. I've always thought about that's fine. Oh. And then you might become one of the streets, and you might have to go... No, my shop won't be able to Sharing a love I thought would last forever Moonlight to show the way so we can follow Waiting inside her eyes was my tomorrow Then something changed her mind her kisses told me I had no loving arms to hold me Every day I wake up and I start to break up Lonely is a man without love Every day I start out then I cry my heart out Lonely is a man Hello, who is this please? I work for somebody who you did business with. He needs your help. 
What person? The one that you had the business meeting with in Italy. He requires $10 million in your private ten island. $10 million dollars in my private island? You are rubbing him on, aren't you? Hey. He's bored of just messing around with money. So he wants to put a bunch of people struggling in life in an island and make them compete in games for $10 million. I used to play marbles and Johnny Kane. You know? Oh, you dear. I can't believe it, can you, eh? He was, yeah, a real card. He was a real marble boy, yeah. Fingers, we used to call him Fingers Car. Yeah, yeah. Why did you call him Fingers Car? Well, he used to like the girls, didn't he? And he used to call him Fingers. Took a walk. Oh, I was brilliant at took a walk. I used to be the, the, the anchor, you know. Everybody used to fall in front of me and I used to pull and pull and pull. And the opposition used to go one by one, and lay by lay by, and lay down, and they were, yeah, I was, yeah, cool. I was the king of the tug of the war. King of the tug of the war, both in this country and in Italy. They used to call me the Italiano tug of the war king. Oh, oh see, see, see. I'm going to transfer the 10 million dollars on my laptop now in accordance to the rules that you require. I've done it, the $10 million is now in your account. Nobody else can know about this, nah. or we're all don't, doomed. Don't, don't worry, you can trust me. These people struggling in life will appreciate this, as they are drug addicts, homeless, and late to everything. <laughs> second time and my name is Sam. I don't really care. Slept badly, bus was late. I can't really do anything about it. If you can't arrive on time, I'm gonna have to fire you. But please don't fire me. I'm late on my rent. I mean, I can't really do anything about it. I get here 6 a.m. every day. It's not that hard. Mind. So, what's troubling you? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all? No. So, why did you come and see me? Well, you know, I'm worried I might lose my job. Like, the guy, Richard, who owns the shop, he's always angry at me because I never seem to be able to get there early. It's just stressful. Plus, I can hardly sleep. I'm not eating properly. Tell me about times when you have been happy in your life. Well, not a lot of it, but when I was younger, about nine or ten, I had this friend. He was my best friend, probably one of my only friends. And we would just spend every day, even in the coldest winters, playing the best games. We would play tug of war, Red light, green light, marbles. Have you ever tried calling this Well, after we got out of school, he moved away. And we haven't spoken since. Maybe you should try calling him again. Well, I know his name, and I think I might still have his number. Yeah, be good to talk to him. That's a good idea. Will do.
Will that be cash or cards, sir? Cash. Okay. Everybody get down! Get up! Get up right now! Oh, shit. Well, you better shut up. Please! I'm warning you. Please, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. mistake. Give me all the money, I'll take that joy to you. It'll be worth something. Money? No. Are you mad? Get out now, or there will be consequences. Last chance. Come on! We gotta go! We gotta go! There's a robber! It's my robber place! Get down! Fight! Look! You can't run! Show yourself! Where are you? Time. Come I'm on. sorry, but after yesterday, I'm not. I'm shutting the shop. I can't do it. I'm moving away. I suggest you do the same too. I need money, man. You know how hard it is to get a job nowadays. I need money too to move away, to do things. I can't just continue living here. There's nothing for me here. Done for me. I'm gonna do that. What the hell are you supposed to be? An offer. Would you like a chance to win 10 million pounds? It's simple. All you have to do is take part in some games. But if you lose, there will be consequences. What kind of games are we talking about here? You'll see. If you accept my offer, meet me at that car park over there this time tomorrow. I'm a traveling man made a lot of stops all over the world and in every port I own the heart of at least one lovely girl I have a pretty senorita waiting for me down in old Mexico and if you're ever in Alaska stop it Oh, my 
sweet Fraulein down in Berlin town Makes my heart start to yearn And my China doll down in old Hong Kong Waits for my return Pretty Polynesian baby over the sea I remember the night When we walk in the sand of Waikiki And I held you oh so tight Yeah, didn't that happen to you as well? Oh my god, it did. What? Yeah, we, I was offered games for like 10 million pounds. 10 million pounds, yeah. That's... That, that's the same to you? Yeah, same yeah, yeah. I, got, I got like drugged and put in a van. Was the, did the guy have like a pink jumpsuit on and like a, like a mask with like exactly. a shape on it? Like a yeah. shape on the, the black mask? Yeah. That is... That is ominous. Weirdly specific. It's just so isolated outside. Wait, there's, there's another guy in here. Hey, hey, wake up. Hey. Are you alright? Um, Did someone offer you games? Like yeah, to play games? Yeah, pounds. Ten million. Ten million. Yeah. Um, in some sort of holding cell, we think, but it's been designed to look very nice. What? It says here, bulletproof glass. I swear I saw some kind of sand on my way in. There's no way out of this. This is this is solid stuff right here. You could shoot like a 50 calibre and this wouldn't break. Do you have a 50 calibre? No, but if you did have one. Guys, guys, where's... Where is he though? Where's the guy in the pink, the the, the jumpsuit thing? I don't question. know. He just kind of uh, knocked me out and like put this syringe in me, and here I am. Check the door. It's locked. Oh! Oh! Everyone, get back! All of you, come on, let's go, move it, go, go! Oh, come on, move it! Come on, guys. Come on, let's go! Come on! Do you want to get shot before the game starts? Hurry up! How the games will work. You will take part in four games. The final survivor of the games will win the £10 million. People who lose will be eliminated. If you try to escape, you will be shot down. There are lookout towers an ocean, sand for miles, and electric fences. So don't try any funny business. Before the games start, you will have a feast to build you up. stuff you see on like a game show or something you know like, have you ever watched those things where you get a bunch of money for doing some obstacle courses oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, if they put drugs in this again no we're not be good they wouldn't do that twice yeah, yeah, it's, drugs. it's just like dramatic you know i'm sure this will probably be televised or something the squid games he said, will be over soon. He said survive yeah, it's, it's a metaphorical thing. He's just trying to be dramatic because it's probably it's being more filmed. It's a spiritual joke. Like, I mean, this is our last what if, what if this is just like some crazy movie something? 
Uh, I said they were filming it, that's what I'm saying, game show. Yeah. That's why he said, like, survive, he's being dramatic, because they're going to add a bunch of, like, 2000s cringy editing. Yeah, you see the cameras up there? They're not, they're not. No, they're not. They're not filming anymore, it's fine. It's called filming. I don't know how they go away with, like, putting us in a van, then. That's I mean, well, technically, we did agree. Sars. And they have their ways. I mean, this place is pretty deserted, I don't think anyone's here to save us. <laughs> Why would you mean saving? Why would you say that? Yeah, we're gonna get a bunch of money just it's for playing just, some stupid games. It's all just a bit suspicious to me. I mean, it's got a point. You find everything suspicious. Right. Look, why are you here? Me. Why are we all here? Yeah. Like, surely we've all been brought here because we're struggling with money and stuff. You first. What's your name? Uh, I, I, I don't think you do that. Do they have these scissors for this? But no. Do you have these scissors? They, they don't have to like, okay. We'll start well, anyway, why are you here? Okay. Well, my name's um, Sam, and um, he knows me. He's my boss, but well, used to be. He's always late, just letting you know that. Um, okay. I'm here because I'm down on my luck. I'm in debt to like a really dodgy guy, and um, I was going to kill myself. Well, well, this has been a really cheerful conversation, hasn't it? So this game has basically saved your life, if you think about it. Yeah. Is, so you, um, why are you here? No, I'm just struggling, you know. What, in terms of, like, financially? Everything. Go pay off debts, too. I mean, what about you? What I you think think? we can say this for, I can say this for all of you. We all have no one that really knows us. What, all cares about us? Mm. So, if we die, they won't matter. <laughs> we're all gonna die. It's gonna be fun. So should we like exchange names since we're gonna be spending the next um few well, Max. days together? Max? Mm hmm Um you are well, I know you, you I know you Richard. Oh, could you pass the cheddars please? Um oh yeah. Yeah. Right, cheddars. Cheddars. Mm. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Why didn't you do that? Why wouldn't I? Thank you very much. We're gonna die, why not? I think you said you weren't gonna die. It's all a bit confusing. Not that you, you were not just drunk, really to be yeah. fair. You were just drunk. Without them. If it was a TV show, they wouldn't be. Oh, sorry. Sorry, do come. I don't know. The, you know, the TV industry is pretty messy. Like, you don't see what goes on behind the scenes. So anyway, what's your name? You seem a bit chilled out. Oh, I, I'm just along for the ride. I mean, we've got some great food, some this lovely star. I, I think this is great. Yeah, but what is your name? My name is Lewis, and I am, was homeless, and now I'm here. So I think the game is a, a very good thing. Yeah. Maybe it could be like a game that you play with with the kids. You know like those games like, what was they called? There's like, there's like light and then... Tug of War. Oh yeah, yeah, Tug of War, yes. that's what I love that game. Oh, oh no, I know that. Like, that's it's my favourite game. Remember, games remember the marbles when you used to chuck a marble and like see who got further? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah. wait, 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 red light, green light. Red light, green light, red light, light green light. That's what I was thinking of. It's a bit like Mr. Time, what's a time, Mr. Wolf? Like when you're walking, you have to stop when the person turns around. My favourite games. Mm. Yeah. It would be kind of a dumb gimmick for a game show though. Mm. Sure. <laughs> you never know, it might be quite exciting. Well, so what's with the guards? Like, they have like really weird designs. Oh, well. Maybe they just can't share their face. Could be classic Xbox Oh, well, at the, the end it's revealed that we're like. <laughs> at the end it's revealed that we're like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm like. That was. I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> that, that pink guy though, surely if it is a game show or something, he can't be running it. There's surely someone on the cameras watching it who's in charge. Wait, you think they're like celebrities, like they're hidden under the mask? Like like what if Beyonce was that? Oh, well, that was Beyonce or the something. The mask show. Oh, that was Miss Death. The dance. That would be that would be hilarious if like when we when one one of us has won the the, the, the ten million they oh ten sorry, yeah, ten million. They come forth and they're like What's up guys, it's me, Chris Pratt, and I was under this mask the whole time. And then it's like, yeah, and it's Samuel L. Jackson, and Beyonce, and Lady Gaga. Well, that's an interesting theory we've got there, but I think we need to eat up. Ready for the games in a bit. I want you to please shut it down. Do you know what it is called when uh, they give prisoners food? What's it called? It's called Fatten the Prey Before the Beast. <laughs> you know what? Uh, if we don't survive, we at least need to all stick together. Yeah. So, like, Mark is a group, you mean? Yeah, yeah, sort of like a team. And then we, we become the predators, not the prey. Are we the only four people here? I think so, yeah. Mm, well, it's yeah, very yeah, difficult yeah. to find um, people willing to uh, get involved in deadly games. Maybe this is some sort of um, deadly. Deadly? Yeah. Point is, let's stick that? together. Yes, no, yeah, yeah, you listen to him, you stick together, yes. Um, like to the end. <laughs> together? Yeah. So, like, mm. uh, 
if we survive all the games, win all the games, maybe we'll all get to split the money. But That'd I just find cool. this, there's something a bit eerie about this whole, like... Where did maybe the reason, go? maybe the reason there's so, um, Where did pink go? Maybe the reason there's so little people here is because maybe this is some sort of, like, test to see if it works. Like, oh. It's like, like the pilot episode of the show. Well, like we're test subjects. Guys, guys, I think you're overthinking it. It's all going to be fine. Well, yeah, but why would there only be four people it's, here? It'll be fine. I'd imagine there being more contestants. Yeah. It's, it'll be fine. I'm not saying it would We'll be. survive. What if we're not even contestants? I mean, it's not like they're going to shoot us, are they? One last time, and then limit me. Hello, I'm a CIA agent, and I need to come in and ask you a few questions. Sissy, we're looking for missing people, and we think that you've got something to do with it. Have you been in contact with anybody who looks like this? I, I, I have no idea what this is. This is nobody, no. No. We've been on CCTV and we've found that you've transferred this person to an island with £10 million. Well, you are at the liberty to accuse me of this, I... You, you will tell me the truth or we'll do this the hard way. Eh, uh, see, I have no idea what you're saying. I think you should leave at my house and I'll have a memento. Leave it straight away, please. The hard way it is then. This message says that I have transferred the £10 million to take this chap to the private island. The liar. CIA, uh, they uh, may uh, reveal on you, but I have, uh, I have sorted it. It is all sorted. Yes, uh, the empty return to my house, uh, unfortunately, but it's time uh, for the day. It's time to move on to something, a new pasture. Maybe, uh, maybe I go on uh, back in Italy. This is the model. Uh, maybe I uh, There's a bit of land there, maybe I'll build my house. Next to McDonald's, then uh, I never have to cook again. Thank you, mate. Cheers. Thank, Thank you. you. He's gone, and now we don't know where they've taken those people. I just hope they're okay. The trail's gone cold. So, everything is coming together. It's almost time to begin the games. Yes, sir.
time for the first game. This game is called Red Light, Green Light. You see that line over there? We cross it and we win. If the light goes red, you must stop or you will be eliminated. When the light is green, you can continue your journey to victory. Bro, this game is um, easy. I played it when I was a kid. What, what, do you, what do you mean by eliminated? You'll see. Let the games begin! So who's going first? Definitely not me. I don't want to either. Oh my god, you guys are so scared. It's easy. Watch this. Red light. Listen guys, I'm not completely paying attention, but I think that guy is dead. So, I think we got to make it to the other side of this, or we're going to die. We're going to end up on it. Can well, we all agree on that? I mean, it was in the rules. If you don't participate, then you get eliminated. And now we know what getting eliminated means. Then come on, let's go! Why can you be so nonchalant about it? Like, come on, it's pretty serious. Go on. Oh, sorry. Uh, Hi, Red light. Green light. Red light. Green light. Red light. Green light. Red light. Green light. You're not gonna lie, and like you did close down the shop. I'm sorry. I mean, if you survive, we die. So, I mean, you know. Strap 
experience with child games. <sighs> yes? Okay. When the game's finished, call me. between you both. You know that there are different kinds of marble games. You will make up your own one and the winner will go through to the final round who will face an unexpected person. Well, this is it then. You're a good person, all right? Just remember that, whatever happens. I think you are too. That's, that's nice of you. Okay, so how about this? Whoever can roll the marble the furthest wins. Just plain and simple. Yeah, I guess that's a good way to end it. Okay. If you come out of this with 10 million, uh, I wish you all the luck in the world. As do I, to you. Thank you. Uh, right, so into there, right? Yeah. Right. You first. Get you down! Are now! Do it! Oh God! Oh, dead. You're probably wondering what will happen now? Yeah, there's no other contestants left. Yet there is still one game that remains. That is Squid Game. It will be a fight to the death for the 10 million pounds. You versus the front man. Who's that? The one who's been watching all of this. The one behind it all. You will now face him. He's been looking forward. To see
This is Squid Game, the final game. And this is the front man, the one who has been watching the games. You will face him. It is a fight to the death. Do you want this? Get off of me! Get off of me! Give it. Why? Is it money? Was it how much they paid you? Right, when we were fucking kids, I know you were hard up on cash. But, this. Get up. Get up! You know what? What happened, man? I lost contact with you. I haven't seen you since... since everything. Since, like, what? 12 years old? Maybe even less. How did you become involved in all this? What is going on? Who is puppeteering this? Who's actually in charge here? I know it's not you. I'm shooting one of these. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. I know it wasn't you. It wasn't me. Who? Lewis Marbles. Lewis Hendricks. Well, have you seen the bitch of an hour? Lovely start. This is great. What is your name? My name is Lewis. Come on, let's go. Don't be so nonchalant about it. Like, come on, it's pretty serious. I am happy to pay well of terms. I think this will be very fun. You did that remarkably easily. Well, I've experienced with child games. Do it. Kill me, motherfucker. Kill me, motherfucker. Kill me, motherfucker. Were you expecting me to hesitate? Were you expecting me to hesitate? What, the, what does that mean? That doesn't mean anything anymore. 
you being my friend, you, right, paid to fight me, and and you ran this, this games. You, you ran these fucking demented games. Pretty sure it's an international operation. You've started it in this fucking country. You fucking owned it. You've been his manager. Nothing you've done is forgivable. It wasn't me, it wasn't me. Money? Bro. Yeah. He paid you. Lewis paid you. Fucking Lewis. Uh, uh. Lewis. Do me a favour. What's the favour? Kill that son of a bitch for me. Come on. Sorry. See what you've turned me into, Lewis? What you turned us all into? You've turned us into complete killers. I've done things that I would have never dreamed of doing. Can you hear me? I know there's cams hidden all over there. There's little cameras looking at me. I see it all. I'll just get one of you guys to take me home and fucking knock me unconscious, chloroform me, fucking fly me off back home with my fucking money. I don't want anything to do with you again. Don't want to kill anyone again. And I'm going to try my hardest to expose you. I know your name. I know your first name, your last name. I'm just going to sit and wait for one of your guards to come along and chloroform. Congratulations. You are the winner. There's a plane east coast of the island. You may drive it back yourself. My duty's done here now. Forty by sixty. Right. Now go. Fuck you and your whole regime. See ya. The Ten million pounds is now in your account, by the way. Great. Now I can go on fucking holiday. Oh yeah, and I guess I can pay that robber back for. Uh, for fucking shooting me up, almost. Great. You know what? I will pay him back. I'm afraid you don't quite understand.
Yo, 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 what's up, people? Hey, tell me up, fam, ya. Yeah. looking good, man. It's time for the funeral, your friend's funeral. Are you excited? Ready to go? Come on. It's my first day as the vicar. Let's do it. All right, then, guys, we're gathered here today for your old mate Richard's funeral. Um, how we died is unknown. Just a pink guy came along and delivered his body. So, um, yeah. Anyway, let's get on with it. All right, so there's a lot of boring stuff I've got to do. Quite a lot on here. Although, let's just skip all that boring shit. Is there anything that you two would like to say about your old pal, Richard? My best friend was Richard, and he had not much of a long life. And it's really, I'm really, really sad that he's gone. Richard was like a brother to me. Although I didn't know him for that long, his loss will be forever in my heart. Richard was like a stranger to me because I never met him, but still lives in my heart. And that's why we're here to share the story of Richard. with life on the run. With the McDonald's, it sucks. I am going to return to my home and sneak through the back door. I've given it some thought and I don't want to fail my mission. I will find out what's going on and so I'm going to wait at his house in case he comes back. Sweet home. You were foolish to return. Hello, what are you doing here? What made you return back to your old house? I thought about the bloody McDonald's, you know, um, they, they leave out the bloody chips and uh, no tomato sauce. I am bloody fed up with them and it, it's costing a sudden fortune. Okay, I don't care. Let's get back to where we were. I saw on your computer that you transferred. 10 million pounds to the pink man to take to the island. He took them people too, and now you're going to tell me what they're doing there. I tell you nothing. I am at the McDonald's and I've been eating their crispy burgers and I'm fed up with those and I'm going to try the beefy ones next time. I tell you nothing. Okay, I'll get you some decent food and drink and then you can answer my questions. Deal.
the squad, the squad, the squad. Have you forgotten who's in charge here? Have you forgotten the deal we made? No, I have not forgotten. Uh, I need to see the end of the field full of football. You give me another drink, please. You answer my questions now. As the rich people, we get a divorce. Messing about more money. Uh, as the rich people, you see, we come together and to entertain, whereas you poor people, you watch the football. I don't entirely follow you. You poor people, you see, you watch the football every day, whereas us very rich people, we need something more to entertain us. I have never heard of rich people who need more to entertain them. I don't know what you're talking about. See, not exactly legal. We uh, we cover our faces uh, and, 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 and do not show. Them. How about you do an example to explain what you're talking about? They're taking those people to the island to compete in the richest entertainment. Competing games. See, let us demonstrate with a little game of Connect Four. When the people on the island lose, like I did. See, uh, like I said, they wanted aggressive entertainment. So what do they do? Is they die. I said this was a demonstration. You see, so you have to fear for your life. How did you get that gun off me? Why you were busy playing and losing? I managed to sneak it under the desk. A good luck, Louis, at your international games. <laughs> Hello. Yes, well, I'm glad the operation in Korea was successful. These games were just a test. Now we roll out on international level. Yes, uh, the loss of the front man was undesirable, but we can continue and we can make progress. The winner I became close with. I oh, don't worry, he's nothing to me. He shall be tied up as all these ends are. You needn't worry.
I will kill Lewis Hendricks. I'll kill him for you. You wear that mask, huh? Yeah. In memory of your old friend who you killed. It's over. Why are you still here? You think you won? Yeah. You were just a test subject, Sam. The real games are about to begin. A new location every year with new people. The games will run on forever. Lewis Hendricks sent me here to assassinate you. Fucking Lewis! The test! <laughs> and now you die. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately for you, ever since the games, I come prepared. <laughs> the games will happen. You can't stop it. <laughs> the games will go ahead. And you are not as powerful as Lewis Hendricks to be able to stop it. Not on my way! <laughs> 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 I'm going to stop the games at any cost. Even if it's the last thing I do. Another day of being a vicar, that guy's rich at funeral. It's pretty sad actually. Gonna call. Hello? You You're firing me? You're firing me? Because I was too funny at the past funeral you know, I'll take I'll take that, but please don't fire me. I need this job. I'll I'll have nothing. What? Oh! <sighs> Another call. Hello? Games? I love games! Ten million pounds! Who needs that stupid vicar job anyway? Ten million pounds. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Hello. Are you the guy on the phone? Yes. Now let's go to the games. All right, let's do it. Right, Theodore, I built this room in memory of Richard, and I think it deserves a round of applause. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Richard's funeral was quite sad. But, like, we've still got our lives, don't we? I'm just so sad and upset. I think I know what I need. I need a lolly. <laughs> and you know what? 10 million pounds? That would be really nice, wouldn't it, mate? Yeah, but that'll never happen. Hello?
Jeff, there's um there's a tournament going for ten million pounds. What? I guess this place will do. I guess being homeless comes with some helpful places. I guess this is one of them. Oh, that's dark. This really is some old abandoned place. I really wonder who lived here. I guess I can make my home here. There's a lot of stuff I can use or sell. Oh. Yeah. I mean, it's handy someone just left this here. It looks like it was just waiting for me. What's that sound? Hello? Again? Money. What's in it for me? Okay. Any rules? Anything we're allowed to bring? Do I get someone nice and warm to stay at least? I'll know, I'll know soon enough. Okay. Uh, where should I meet you? Hang up. What the hell is that? Who the hell are you? I was the guy on the phone who offered you the gains for the ten million pounds. How the hell did you get in here firstly? Does it matter? You ready to go? Ready to go to the games? Yes. Now? Now. Now. Now or never. What about if I say no? Then you will lose out on ten million pounds. Okay, that is a fact. Do you really want to spend the rest of your life in this Junkyard abandoned place. I mean, probably everything I can sell here will make me £10 million. Pounds. Okay. That is a gamble you should take. Okay, no, wait, wait. I'll come. I thought so. What the hell? Let's go. Okay. <coughs> Who the hell are you? Who are you? You're not contesting? I've got put in a van as well. Did they get put in a van? Did you guys get put in a van? We got put I don't even know. I know you! And you! Oh, I know you! Let's go! I know you! You guys were at Show me up! Yeah! Hey, you guys were at Richard's funeral, weren't you? I I got fired. That's a dicker. Where the hell are my shoes? Well, we were just um, I don't know. chilling in a room and then we got beaten up. Well, I got taken off to these games. Oh. I was struggling in life after I got fired and now I've got a chance to sort of... Yeah, don't tell me. Anyway, how have you two been since yeah. funeral? Are you recovering well? Uh, well, well I got, um, he's being a... going into... I got diagnosed with depression. Oh, can we open the window and jump out? Well, I don't check. I mean, why would we do that? We need to win like ten million pounds. Yeah, well, but it's kind of sketchy when they put us in the back of a van. Fair enough. But let's just come on, guys. Yeah, but also, it'll be fun. It was a white van as well, so maybe they're going to come in and start molesting us. Don't say stuff like that. I'll do this. I'm going with it, by the way. <laughs> so just tell you guys name. I mean, me, me and my um, well, actually, my guy, we've been. It's time for the new games. The real games. Let's go! Why does that guy have a triangle on his head? Oh, I've got no idea. I 
put on this jacket as a special occasion of the first game. And today, you will learn that I'm not just a pink soldier. I can be a bit of a DJ too. Because the first game is musical chairs. Now the games work is there are three chairs and four contestants. When the music stops, you'll all have to sit down and the one without a chair shall be eliminated. Does you really think we've never played musical chairs before? Now let's do this everybody! Woo! Let's do this guys! When he heard the fire siren alarm, Inspector Power gave the command. When he heard the fire siren alarm, out the fire, out the fire, down fire water, out the fire, down fire burning, out the fire, down fire. Please. So as you can see, one of your little friends are dead. They're not really friends. Oh, he's a priest, I don't think you really liked him that much. No, he was really rude at um, Richard's funeral, so I didn't feel bad at all. Um, Hello? Yeah, I got you there! <laughs> right, anyway, the next game is hide and seek across this entire mansion. I will be seeking. The first person found shall be eliminated next. You have two minutes to hide! Get going, people! Let's go! Hey, hey, I... Well, I'm gonna... I'm gonna know you're in there now, aren't I? So I guess this is... What is going on today? Where are you all? Hello? Right, I want the entire room after myself in this game. Round of applause, please! Don't tell me what to do. Who's that? He's got no idea. Ah oh, yes, the dressing room. Where they kill the people. Right. If it's class. Don't mind if I do.
Thank God, the coast is clear. Do you really think I was that dumb not to notice you? Yes. Wrong answer. The player was found. All remaining players, please go back players to the musical chairs room. Ready for the next game. Ready for the next game. Ready for the next game. Ready. Oh, there you are. Where's the other guy? I'm pretty sure it was somewhere here. And I was running for... What are you wearing? Right, anyway, you two have survived Great. that game. The other guy is dead. Come on, man. We're, we're gonna win this. Okay, job, bro. Good job. I wouldn't Ooh. be so sure you're both gonna survive it. The final game is the squid game. It is a fight to the death. This game, bro. Yeah, I, as if. No, for real, you both are gonna have to kill each other now. Please go. <laughs> He didn't even figure it out to kill each other! <laughs> no, like, seriously. Go wait in the garden. Ten minutes, I'll come call you. And you can fight to the death for the ten million pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Genuinely. Off you go. It's really sad how I have to go on like this because I, I like you. You're a great friend. I've got, we've got to kill each other now. I know, brother. I missed the time where it was just me, you, and Richard. But he's gone. So now we, we gotta move on. Come on! You two, let's go! Hurry, hurry! You really think I wouldn't find out a way to stop what you're doing? It's too late. Everyone is already dead. There's still two of them left. That's more than there was last time. If you don't leave right now, hey! this man's face is in shot. Both of them are getting out of here alive. You really think I won't pull this trigger right now, Sam? But at least I can still save one of them and he won't have to live with the guilt of killing his best friend. I'm going to take down your whole operation and there's nothing you can do about it. Who are you? That's the least of your worries right now. There are dozens of guards on the way, all under the command of him. Who's he? The one behind it all. But we don't have time right now. I've got a helicopter on the beach. We can get to it and fly away. Then we can hide out an old abandoned shop. It used to belong to my boss. His name was Richard. Holy shit. I sold that shop to him. You knew Richard? Well, if I'm gonna save anyone, I'm glad it was you. Now let's get the fuck out of here.
he almost killed me. He's a monster. And I will get my revenge. I will kill him! I'll go to that shop. If I'm gonna start looking anywhere, I'll start looking for him there. Ah, the smell of my old shop. How are you, my friend? Hello, hello. This building had been condemned. Luckily, I was able to buy it for pretty cheap. And I take up residence here. I needed somewhere to hide. So, I think it's about time I explained everything to you. I went to the games with three other contestants. Richard, who you've heard of, a man called Max and Lewis Hendricks. Now, it got to the point where only me and Lewis were left, and I won and thought he had been killed. But it turned out Lewis was behind it all. And I have to find him and kill him before he can hurt anyone else. If we take him out, it all ends. Will you help me? Yes. Well then, do you have any skills with computers? I'm really good with Apple. Well, good, because that's the one we have in this shop. Not the fruit. Just the computer. Yeah, I understood. Right, come on. So, uh, what do you want to use my amazing computer skills for? Well, we need to track down Lewis. We need to find him, and we need to kill him. You don't have to assist in the assassination. All I need you to do is find where he lives. Okay, so this is one of the IDs that I uh, got off the guards. Um, so there's a link on it, as you can see. So search that up. Guards, it's taking you to the dark web. That's crazy. It looks like some sort of private group chat. Okay. Yeah. Um, search up the history of the chat room. Uh, search for the name Lewis Hendricks. It's spelled um, H E N. -D I know how it's spelled. Okay, I'm not a dumbo. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, we got something here. All right, okay, so he's talking about, uh, oh, there's an address, there's an address. He says, come meet me at, right, okay. And his most recent message is talking about uh, seeing someone at a restaurant tomorrow. Right, I'll be back tomorrow. Wish me luck. I will, and I'll see you tomorrow. I've got a busy day serving Lewis Hendricks a drink. Let's get ready. I can't believe I'm serving this very powerful rich man a drink. I kissed her and she kissed me Like the fella once said Ain't that a kick in the head There you go, sir. The Your room drink was arrived. completely black Ta-ta now. I hugged her and she hugged back Again. It's been a long time, Lewis. Indeed. I am impressed by your orthopedic S 9mm short. Modded silencer, very nice. It won't do much good, though. Come on, Sam, we are far beyond bullets and guns. In the modern world, there is certain requirements if one is to reach a position of power. One of those requirements is the understanding and acceptance that conflict and brutality is simply pawns in the wider game of superiors. You're always so confident and smug. Would you like to know why? Go on then. You are, of course, aware that I take care of all of my new statements, sir. Well, I take care of them, I tie them up, and that means I know everything about everyone. Every single one. For example, 
for a demonstration. I know that your friends are currently in that abandoned shop that you used to hide out in before the Squid Games. I knew this 24 hours in advance and had a rather hefty ton of C4 explosives placed in the flat. What did you do, you motherfucker? I am tying up my loose ends. What's taking this guy so long? A beep. Was that a beep? I don't know. Hello? Okay, it's getting, it's getting really loud. Right, it's somewhere here. Oh my god, it's a bomb! Right, so I gotta disable the quantum physics on the inside, then maybe look on the top. Let's do it. I don't actually know why I'm talking about any of this, but if anyone is recording, it's because I'm a fucking genius. Who's there? Oh, shit. Of course, I the fucking other one disabling a fucking bomb. Get up! Who the hell are you? Where's Sam? You know Sam? Oh my god, he's an amazing guy. Come on, let me talk to you about it. Get away from me! He tried to kill me. I know I robbed his shop, but... That was because I was in desperate need of money. I don't need money anymore, I just want my revenge on Sam. Tell me where he is, and I'll leave you alone. I'm not gonna tell you where he is. But if you don't want us to both die, then I would go the fuck out, because I'm holding a bomb, and I'm trying to defuse it. You don't tell me where that motherfucker is. You're gonna be the one dead on the floor. And if I don't tell you where that motherfucker is, you'll be happy because we won't both die because of the fucking bomb in my hand. I don't care about the bomb. Where We're not gonna die. I'm gonna kill I'm you. I'm gonna die. We're all gonna die. <laughs> you fucking kid. What the fuck is that bomb doing here? Come back here. You have ruined everything for me, Sam, and I intend to get my revenge. Revenge, of course, is not something I take on you to. So in that regard, you must consider yourself lucky that I have even considered you an opponent worthy of my attention. Oh, all right, so I've ruined everything for you, hmm? You ruined everything for me. You turned me from an innocent man into a killer. I don't even recognise myself when I look in the mirror anymore. I, you put me in such a blind rage that I killed my best friend Reggie. The Stanford Prison Experiment. Conducted by Dr. Phil Zimbardo. It is, of course, a psychology experiment of which innocent young test subjects were placed into a violent environment of a prison. They became savages conformed to their rules, their social roles, and became absolute psychotic monsters, if there even is such a definition for the world. I did not make you like this, Sam. I simply awakened your full potential. I simply put the pieces in place. You did the rest. For may I remind you that I was nowhere to be found when you clobbered that poor, poor man with the mates in the abandoned works. How do you know about that? I told you, Sam, I know about everything. And also, you got one part of that wrong. It was a metal pipe. I don't take to carrying around medieval weaponry. Your security cameras must be a bit out of date. A mace is a mace. If it is used for that purpose, you were used for that purpose. You are simply a weapon too, Sam. You were used to bring about the deaths of all those people. Your friend Richard, you are simply a weapon that I used to bring about his demise. What's the purpose of the games? What's the point of all this? The purpose? is to provide entertainment for the intellectually superior. There is no answer to the equation of life. There is only a solution to the problem. There are the weak and there are the strong. There are the smart and there are the violent. 
I wonder which one you are. The smart are the superior. They shall always survive no matter what. And everyone else has no use but to cause havoc, chaos, and lack of order. I gave you a purpose, an entertainment for the superior people that you shall never be able to beat. Oh, right. So you're not violent at all, hmm? Pitting people against each other in a vile bloodbath? That's not violent, hmm? Forcing someone's best friend to attempt to kill them? Or how about the fact that if I dropped this gun right now... This gun? This gun. Why are you even using that gun? Because you know that my pulse is wired up to a radio control. If it goes, if it dies, if anything happens to it, those bombs in your shop shall detonate. My friends are smart. They're resourceful. They've probably defused it by now. Oh, but I know they would have, which is why I know that they will not disturb. I predict everything and I take measures against it. You think you're so smart above us all? <laughs> Listen, as I was saying earlier, if I dropped this gun on the floor right now, you'd pick it up and shoot me in an instant. Your instincts would kick in, you'd go straight for it. Okay, go on. Go on. This is it, Sam. This is what it has all been leading up to. The final test, the final game, I shall prove that I am superior. I would have said that I already have, however, you are still unable to accept that. The power to kill does not mean anything to me. I simply utilise it to my own personal gain, and the gain of all of my superior brethren. If you shoot me right now, I've proved you wrong. You've shown that you're really just another animal like the rest of us. So go on then. Do it. Let me win. And of course, your heart will still be beating. Giving my friends more time to defuse your silly little bomb. I liked your drink early this morning. Remember that, uh... The waiter? Yes, Nick. Oh, Pierre the Luxembourg. My glass. You're gonna be in a catatonic state for the rest of your life. Your heart will stay beating, but you won't be able to do a thing. I shall eliminate you and all your friends for this. Oh, really? I thought you said revenge wasn't your sort of thing. <clears throat> you just another animal, completely controlled by your instincts? You're really not so superior after all. You're just gonna kill me for the sake of... for the sake of fulfilling your bloodlust. Let us think! Let us think! Yeah, I'm Your brain is going to be a vegetable in a while. somewhere that I can exploit it! Your brain is going to be a vegetable in less than a quarter of an hour! The brain's the last thing to go. You have to watch your entire body stop moving. I can still kill your friends. Oh, really? How? You're going to die. No! Then I shall stop my own heart. No. And your friends shall blow up 
at the stop of my pulse. <laughs> How much faith do you have in your friends? Thanks, Mark. That I've already defused it. Oh, really? That is a gamble I shall take. Right, time to put on a show. <laughs> oh, Where is he? Tell me now! Up your mom! Oh, the bomb! Oh, piss off shit! Goodbye, Mr. Sam. From the field. This is the poison I used. Cost a lot in the black market. Back in the games. That, that friendship we had early on. We looked out for each other. Did that ever mean anything to you? Brother! It went alright, everything's alright. Yum yum, I've had the craziest fucking night. You couldn't believe what I've been through, bro. So, so this guy came in, yeah? Yeah. Apparently apparently he was robber. He, he was looking for you. I mean I just thought that he was here to oh get this fucking up. Apparently he, he was looking for you. I think I know who you're talking about, but I mean he was robber. He had he had a hurt, that's, that's all I know. He didn't he I'm didn't, pretty he didn't sure me. I killed him. I don't understand this. I oh my god, it's so weird because I killed him as well. I shot him, say like four times. I came over here to defuse the bomb. I turned around. Fucking zombie like man running at me, <laughs> screaming. Oh wow, I know, right? that's insane. It's so weird. But Wait, then, you burnt the body, didn't you? Burnt the body, yeah, bro. There's, a, uh, yeah, there's actually um, a fire in the kitchen. I'm not yep. sure if you know. I've cooked many, my, many marshmallows on there in my time, but obviously today I'm not gonna do that because if I cooked marshmallows on a burning body, I would die. Um, so you're lucky that I didn't, even though I probably would have done if I wait, had been making you that. Wait, there was a bomb. You said something about a bomb. Is don't worry, bro. It it it, it is diffused. Luckily, there were there were many wires in that bomb. I'm happy, I'm lucky that I picked the right one. Otherwise, I might have just killed myself. But yeah, we're all good here. Do you want to go and uh, get a pint? Because um, yeah, drink, yeah, drink it's over. It's... Drink, drinks on me, my man. Let's go. It's time for a new phase to begin in our lives. Look, the past I don't know, six years of my life have been hell, and this whole Squid Game debacle was just the icing on the cake. It's been horrible, but. Now we can finally put these things behind us. We don't need weapons anymore. We actually don't. They're really scary and dangerous. Yeah, obviously. You almost got killed by a bomb. <laughs> I know. It's over. It's time to begin the next chapter in our lives. You know, actually, we could refurbish this shop. Get it back to its former state. That's a good idea, actually. Yeah, we could run it together. Yeah. Co Copanas? Let's just go get the pint. It's some sort of like shop owner's etiquette thing. I mean, fair, 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 fair. After all this time, it's finally over. I'm done with violence. I'm finished with Lewis. All my loose ends are tied up. Now there's only one last thing to dispose of. Goodbye, old friend. You will never be forgotten.
Lewis Hendricks is dead and the games have failed. It is my duty to take his place and bring back the games. Get to work. Hey yo, you can't go bust without you. And without you, it's just BS. You're weird, man. We're closed. Oh, that was, uh, that went well for a first day. Got a few customers in. Um, yeah, I'm gonna clean the mannequins from now on because I think you get a bit touchy with them. Anyway, I time mean, to close up shop. I mean, if you see anything dirty, give it a dust. But other than that, I think we're finished for the day, my man. Ah! Once we finish packing up, do you wanna celebrate with a dance? Um, I mean, you can put on some music, but I can't promise you that I'm gonna dance. I bet you've got some fucking amazing moves, man. So let's yeah, see yeah. if you can yeah, shake right. your bum, bitch. <laughs> Mate, can we just get beer instead? Fuck off, bitch! <laughs> I'm gonna go home. Um, if you wanna do any last cleaning up, here's the mop. Oh, I see, man. Take it that way. Yeah, I know. You bitch. Oh, it's cool and it's six in the morning. Yeah, hello, this is Sam. If you'd like to place an order, uh, we're open at eight. I killed your leader. Lewis Hendricks is dead. There's nothing left. Hello? I need to warn Jeff. <laughs> Jeff! Jeff! Are you right? Jeff! Oh. Jeff! Oh. Did they? Oh. What happened? Oh. They're back. <laughs> no. Jeff, come on. Jeff. God damn it. Fuck. When is it going to fucking end? You think you could just kill Lewis Hendricks and go back to a living, nice, happy life Actions have consequences, Mr. Welding. 
I'm gonna take down every single one of you superior twats. It's all over for you. And you know who I'm gonna start with? Those old contestants can't help you. They're trapped in that Russian prison. No, they're, they're dead. Lewis shot them with stun bullets and then sent them off to be slaves for the Russians. You shouldn't have told me they were alive because now I know I'm not alone and they'll join me in this fight. There'll be more on their way soon. No matter what I do, they'll just keep hunting me. I need to go somewhere they'd never expect. I need to get out of town. Thank God I escaped town. All right, I'll lay low in this field for a while. This is good. Hey, who's that? Hello, Sam. I've been expecting you. Reggie, but... You died. I think my death. Lewis supplied me with a bulletproof vest. Then I found out what he was doing was wrong. So I took a boat, sailed off to sea, ended up here to find you. Well, now things are worse than ever, so I'm glad you're back. It's good to have you back. I have a few lessons for you to learn. I need to teach you some things. So, are you ready to play the squid game one last time? That was pretty fun. Yeah, I know what you mean. I haven't had that much fun since I was a kid, you know? Back when the games were just simple fun, me and you in the park together. You wanna get a Chinese? I could, uh, I could do with a bite. You paying? How about we split the bill? No. Okay. Today the games made some of your worries go away, but the big game will make all your worries go away, even the war. Are you suggesting I challenge Mr. Reeves to a games tournament? Yes. If you win the game, you will kill Mr. Reeves and end it all, but sadly I will not join you because all the other contestants won't want me there. I guess there will be the other contestants that are in the Russian prison. I can't believe the things I've done, really. I've decided to end it all. It's good Chinese, so yeah. Have fun killing yourself. I've got a war to win. Richard? 
What's up? Oh my it's God. been so long. I'm hey, so what about sorry. Me? What about me? Oh. I barely yeah. knew you. Yeah, he's not really. Well, Hang on a minute. I thought I thought they said all the contestants contestants. I thought they said all the contestants uh, lived. Well, you know, some of them didn't make it. The bullets, 50-50, mm, didn't work a lot. Guess Lewis Hendricks wasn't as smart as he thought. Yeah. Yo, yo, on me too. Stung bullets worked on me, the roadman vicar. Back in the game, still wearing the same shirt. Who the fuck's we that? We can live with that. We don't want to know. Uh, hello, my name's Sam. I don't think we've ever met before. Get these games going, people! Let's go! I think he might have suffered some internal brain damage from the bullet, certainly. You're the guy that I hosted the funeral! I'm the guy. Yes. Oh, uh, nice to meet you. Yeah, it's nice to meet you yeah. too. I, um, because of your fucking fake funeral, I got fired from my job, meaning I had to go to the games, meaning that... You know, I ended up in a Russian prison, and now I'm here fighting for the sake of the world. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry about that, but that was out of my hands since I was... Basically. It's alright, <laughs> let's do these games, let's do it, alright? Come on, everyone. Hold on a minute. Where's Jeff? He's dead. They killed him. What? I know. I know you were both... Very good friends with Jeff, but he died in his own shop, the one he sold to you. He was a good man. He was a good man. He was also an idiot. Yeah, I loved that about him. All right, guys. The first game is one that neither of you have ever played. It's called Red Light, Green Light. Basically, there'll be a voice coming over the speakers. They're hidden in the trees. It'll say red light or green light. When it says green light, you can move. But when it says red light, you have to stay still or you'll get shot. Now I know you're wondering, how will we get shot? It's because there's snipers all over here. They're hiding in the grass. You see these fields? You see this open place? Oh yeah, you think you can just escape from here? You can't. This is literally a death trap. This isn't a joke. I thought games were supposed to be fun, but here we are. Let's do this! I've lost one game. I'm not going to lose another. You know, for the shortest amount of time I knew him, he he felt like Max in so many different ways. Who's Max? Don't worry. Even his face. Mm. So similar. Let's run this all together. Come on, boys. One time when we had pool, and you sort of ruined my well streak. So I think this is a good time to finally end this. I can't believe
see if he turned on us like that. What was his name? Sir Theodore, I think. Well, why, why did he... He said something about a pool game? Yeah, I mean, back then we had a bit of a rivalry. But we made up for it, but clearly he still held that grudge. That's a shame. Yeah, it really is. I had a friend like that once. He was a good guy, but he had financial problems. Like all of us, actually. He worked for Lewis Hendricks for a short amount of time. You might know who that is. Yeah. But he wasn't evil. Not really. But in the end, he couldn't live with what he'd done and what he'd been a part of. And Sometimes the guilt gets you. dreading this moment. You were dead by the time I played this game, but essentially both of us get one marble yep. and we roll the marbles and uh, whoever's marble goes furthest wins and the other person picks the bucket. I'll go first. What are you doing? The guards will shoot you as soon as they realise you're not playing. Look, Sam, we both know it needs to be you. I can't do it myself. I can't do it on my own. It has to be you. You have the potential that none of us have. You know, all the inferior people's lives are on your hands. I've got nothing left now. Mr. Reeves, it's done. Our deal is done. I've won the games. You've taken everything from me. All my friends. Everyone who you've ever cared about me. Everyone who I ever cared about. My job, my shop. But you know what you haven't taken from me? the belief that all of you superior fuckers have to go down and be destroyed. I'll see you soon. Mr. Reeves, let's end this. Reeves, I grow tired of your games. Where are you? What the fuck? I'm afraid Mr. Reeves passed away a few weeks ago. In fact, I've been the one on the phone to you, not him. You see this painting? The man himself, Lewis Hendricks, who started this operation. And then, when he died, Mr. Reeves took over, trying to fulfill his legacy. But he was too old and weak for the job. So now I'm here. And I'm here to do it right for once. So will I be playing the squid game with you instead? No. All of that deal we made was lies. I just needed to lure you in here. The game's operation will never end, no matter what. There are an army of pink soldiers, an entire empire ready to expand across the entire world. So all those people that played your games died for nothing? Yes. You think I really care about all two people? I have an entire world to conquer now. Save me! So this is how it's going to end, huh? You dying and me taking over the world, just as Lewis wanted. <laughs> Sam! Reggie! I'm going to die. I might as well die by taking the lives of the people who turned me into a monster. I'll let you do what you need to do, Reg.
a man What has he got? If not himself No! Rich! He has not To say the thing It's too late for me now we need to go into hiding. There's only one person who can help you. We both know who that is. What they need you. So, oh, this is what it feels like. It was my What has this world come to? How could I just let them get away with this? They've destroyed everything. And I'm nothing now. This isn't over. There's only one man that can help me now. You brought me back. Why? Why? Why are you of all people? Because you're the only one I can turn to. You're the only one that can get inside the head of the enemy. Your plan worked, Lewis. Everything you ever wanted came true. The superiors are in control now. Every town, on every in every country, all across the world has to submit all their bestest and brightest to compete in the games or else they will face consequences from the superiors who control them. But I can appeal to your better nature. I can show you that this is wrong. If that's true, then why would I help you take down the regime that I built? If what you tell me is true, and they'll welcome me back. I am back and I can take what's rightfully mine. Why would they want you? Why would they give up their power to a dead man? Your time is past, Lewis. It's all over for you. Unless you help me. You weren't always superior, were you? You were once inferior like me. But you became superior. And why exactly was that? Because I looked at the world and I saw chaos. The inferior people. As long as the superiors and the inferiors exist, there will always be chaos. I stopped that. I put them into a game. And I controlled them. I ended it. Denied them. The lack of order. I stopped that. Oh really? 
then I guess you've won, Lewis. The world is free of chaos. Or shall I say ruled by it? Think of all the people that have died at the hand of your schemes. Max, Richard, the vicar. All of them. If you think about how the world is now, the piles of dead, decaying bodies, all the women and children and young men being sent off to fight and compete in the games, knowing that only one of them will survive. Ripped in fear by the power of their superiors. I ran into my shop only to find my friend Jeff dead. <laughs> and my other friend, the one I'd known since I was four years old, tried to kill me, turned into a bloodthirsty monster by you. Yeah, you really stopped all the chaos, didn't you? Oh, shut up! If you wanted to bring back someone, then why did you bring back me? Lewis. Lewis. You have to listen to reason. Listen to this! Do it. Welcome back to your real self. Welcome back to the inferiors. Help me defeat the leader of the superiors. His name is Morlock. So, what's your plan? We're here to end this all. We're here to challenge you to the Squid Game. A fight to the death. Let's do this, Morlock. I started this, and we're going to end it. Lewis, there is still time. All you ever wanted was this. We can rule together. Join me, Lewis Hendricks. Finish your story. Silence. The chaos. It's gone.